Since retiring, our first project was to reconfigure our garden into growing vegetables. Once the conservatory was built, it was time to prepare the ground. Sir bought me two small greenhouses and I attempted to grow various seedlings. The first mistake was to forget to label the trays. However, not knowing what would survive, a little overcrowding occurred. Birds were part of our design, and we erected a small but inviting bird station. Success. The early potatoes started growing, as did onions and carrots. Not all was well though. We lost some dahlias through the wet spell. Our rhubarb never appeared, and horseradish just never showed his face. In July, a spurt of good weather promoted growth and we saw the results of our efforts. Lisa got me to start a compost tub, but she was in charge of it. Ugh. We were so pleased with some of the flowers and some of the produce that we've got in the garden, and I decided to put together some photographs of the flowers and vegetables as they grew. Everything had a name. Isaac calls this one Marty the Marrow, Bertie the Bean, I suppose this one is Colin the Courgette. sunflowers a little late, but as you can see, they've started to produce their beautiful flowers. Isa believes in complementary planting, so alongside cabbages we have a range of marigolds and other flowers like nasturtiums.
also play a part in our garden. bought two apple trees, one a small tree, the second a bramley. We've also tried to encourage birds and friendly insects into the garden, hence the flower borders and the bird station. Woody the wood pigeon visits us every morning and every evening. I think that's because I put seed out for him. Charlie the blackbird and his wife, who we call Mrs. Blackbird, nested in our clematis and had one or two offspring this year. Our jackdaw is very, very shy and only comes when the other birds have finished feeding. We have the usual group of ruffians, starlings, who love the suet balls that I put out for them. We found this one amongst the courgettes. We're not quite sure what it is. We have a few friendly bees that have come into the garden. This one was extremely tame and Isaac could actually put a finger out and it would land on her. We've had no trouble with slugs this year, mainly because at 11.30 every night, Alfred the Hedgehog appears, wanders the garden, goes into his hogitat and eats some of the Hope you've enjoyed the short video, and here's the cast, myself, Isa, and the security man, Titus the Rottweiler. More videos to follow as we progress with our little garden. Thanks for watching. Bye.